Coming up on Kim of Queens. Every contestant has to do everything by yo self. Mothers cannot go backstage at all. Kind of like kind of the first rule of thumb is African American skin is quite different than the Caucasian skin. It was not a good look. You like it? Figure it out. Hannah's got to learn to do things without her mom's input. I'm not putting on that dress. What well, part of you're going to wear the dress that I run the show and you don't, don't you understand? At the end of the day, I'm a competitor and I want to win. <laughs> I'm not wearing that dress. The devil inside of me has arisen and I'm going to need an exorcism. OK, so everybody take a seat, relax. So I kind of want to give y'all the 411 on this week's pageant. This week. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> the pageant is called DIY Miss Do It Yourself. Uh -oh. huh? What? Every contestant has to do their own hair, has to do their own makeup. <gasps> I can't do her hair. Is that what you're trying to tell yeah, me? There's no way in the world I'd let you do her wow. hair. You know, I think some moms might be relieved, but I'm nervous because she's never done her own hair and makeup. I always help her. Every contestant has to pick their own clothing and has to do everything all by yo self. Let me tell you something. When you go to Miss Georgia and you go to Miss America, it's all DIY, honey. You don't have any help, so you better figure out how to do it yourself. Mothers cannot go backstage at all. Oh, Mothers are not ba allowed backstage at all. And that's just not for our contestants. This is for the whole entire pageant. I am so happy, actually, okay. because when I'm back there trying to help Miss Thing, right. I don't do this right, I don't do that right, I don't right. put her hair right, I don't put her shoes on right, I hurry up, I annoy her. So she needs to see how it is with me not back there. That's right. And don't be coming out to look like a rick rack hot mess. Honey, I look good no matter what I do, so I got mama. Oh, God. Mama, do you know I have, I have hair skills? I am very excited about the DIY because now I don't have to depend on my mama. I can do everything by myself. Another thing I want to do this week is I want to have a pajama party. Yes. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and Allison? I want you to take the moms out. Oh, Lord. They're bye-bye, basically all week. These mothers do everything for these little kids. These girls got to learn. They've got to do some of this themselves if they're ever going to get anywhere. Bye, moms. Peace out. Bye-bye. So what we're going to do is you're going to learn how to do makeup, but not on yourself. You're going to learn with a partner. Asa, Addison, you do each other's makeup. Okay. Hannah and Adia, y'all are doing each other's makeup. Oh, she can't mess up my sprayed hand. Oh, God. Hannah's worried about me messing up her spray tan. This girl is too much. You brought your makeup kits? Let's move it over to the makeup mirror let's and go, let's girl. get started. You know why I'm teaching these girls to do each other's makeup? Because my daddy always used to say, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach him to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. And who don't love good fried catfish? What's going on over here? I'm getting there. OK. Stage. Think stage. Stage. More is more. Remember, grease pork chop. You want to look like you ate a grease pork chop without any utensils. Ah, uh, Hannah. Wait. What'd I do? <laughs> Hannah, like kind of the first rule of thumb is African American skin is quite different than the Caucasian skin. Uh, and the fact that it is more mocha. But I could put darker powder on it. Okay, well this and Oh Gosh. God. <laughs> Just take it easy, Hannah. I take don't it be easy. Her, honey. Sorry. Where's the powder? That's it was not a good look. We can't do nothing. That's, that, you're fixing it. You're, you're fixing, fixing it. it. Yeah. Go, girl. Go, girl. I told y'all. That's pretty. That's Not bad at what all. What do you think? Really? Yes. Same. I'm shocked. So, have you talked to that guy? No. You didn't text him? I thought it was the boys who make the first move. Guys like when the girls make the first move sometimes. One boyfriend, we broke up like a couple of months ago. I had a clingy boyfriend. I was like, you got to go. Why'd you break up? He just stopped talking to me. And... He stopped talking to you? Mm-hmm. Just stopped talking to you? Completely. Uh, I would've cut him. With scissors. Addie scares me a little bit. I definitely wouldn't want to be her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> no. <laughs> Help me. Look, I look like a blue clown. You gotta get it off me. No, you don't. It's actually kind of cute. Huh? No. Don't lie, Miss Kim. Help. You know that it's a hot day. 
No, honey. I mean, uh, can I just say this? You had the right idea with the blue. Sitting back watching these girls do their makeup, I am really nervous about this. These girls have never done much of anything for themselves, much less put on makeup to get on stage. Hey. Hey. Hey, Mason, how are you? I'm good. Good, good to see you, sweetie. I'm so glad y'all stopped by. Not too long ago, Mason and her mom came to one of our workshops at the pageant place, and they are the sweetest, kindest people. Take off your glasses. <laughs> how many fingers am I holding up? Two. Okay, so you can see. Okay, good. So talk to me about why you want to do pageants. Have you ever done a pageant before? No, ma'am, I haven't. So why did you want to do one? I kind of want to let, let loose. Like, I cannot stand it if I get a bad grade. Like, Are you a straight-A student? Yes. We homeschool. Oh. How, how long have you been homeschooled? Just this year. I mean, I didn't really have any friends. I was more of a loner. I was stuck over here just sitting by myself on the playground. So you want to do pageants, so you want to build your confidence. I mean, you know, if she could just feel beautiful on the outside, it might help her let go on the inside a little bit and have a little bit of fun. So you're doing pageants for friends? Yep. Mason, she's socially awkward, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. But she doesn't have a lot of friends. She's not been able just to be a normal kid and hang out and have some fun. This pageant would be a perfect opportunity for Mason to meet some friends and gain a little independence along the way. There's a lot of little girls here at the pageant place. And this week, I've got a pageant. And it's called Miss DIY. OK. You have to do your own makeup, your own hair. You have to pick out your own dress. You have to do everything yourself. OK. With the help of your friends. <laughs> what do y'all think about that? I think that'd be awesome. You think it would be good? Yes. I think that would be really awesome. I think Kim's gonna help me with the seriousness because she's just such a, a lively person. Like, she she doesn't care what anybody thinks. She's just herself, and I think I could learn a thing or two from that. I can do stuff people can't. Like what? The ro Like the robotics. What's robotics? Oh, we use like 500, 600 machine pieces. And we put them all together, and then we program them and then bring them to competitions. They're actually like robots? Yes. I like it. I think we just found your talent, little missy. I have an idea. You could be a mad scientist for talent. Yeah. I'd love to do that. You might win this talent thing yet. Oh, I love this shopping, don't y'all? Yes. Are Who's excited? excited? Raise your hand. Me. Who's scared to death? Raise your hand. <laughs> Come on around, come on around. This is the plan. Everybody has to pick their own evening gown. It's all your choice. Point of the exercise of the girls picking their own dress at Girly Girl is I, I want to see their point of view. Any color that you've never worn, you've always wanted to wear that your mom said you can't wear, do it. Shorts, long, ball gowns, straight gown. I want these girls to be able to stand on their own two feet and say, I like this, I don't like this. Make a decision for themselves, right or wrong. Whatever you want to do that you've never been able to do, this is your time. Go. Go. Remember, make it you. Do you have any white dresses? White? That's pretty. I like that. What size is that? Oh, turn up. The younger girl dresses look better. Let's go look in the background. Ladies, I've got a great little place I'm gonna take y'all. While Kim and Mom are out dress shopping, I had the idea to take the moms out for a little R&R. &R. I want to get these moms away from their daughters so they can cut loose and have fun. Hey. Oh, are you taking us to the news? I know that these women probably don't get time to go get their sales pedicures and everything because they're always up their kids' butts, right? So I'm thinking, yeah, this is gonna be really nice for them. My hooves need working on. Mine do too. So Kelly, I like your tattoo. <laughs> I got two of them. You know, I've been, I've been, I've been. Actually, I got three of them. One you can't see. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! You have okay. a tramp stamp. It ain't a tramp stamp, Phyllis. Okay. <laughs> That's what I heard that it's called. It ain't a tramp stamp unless it's from hip to hip. It's a tramp stamp if it's on the back of your back, at the top of your butt crack. I think. Excuse me, what is your 12 to 14? 12 to 14, they're gonna be, um, everything's organized by size, so the bigger, like 12 to 14 would be around here. When I'm walking in the dress shop, I'm looking at all these small dresses, and it's making me nervous, cause like, when I'm looking through the clothes, I don't see nothing, you know, that's my size. 
the mic right here to hear. Um, you just have to uh, look at the end of the rows on every color, and that'll be the 12 to 14s probably. I'm just so stressed out right now. I don't know if this place has any dresses that'll fit me. Uh, Adele, come on out, baby. What's going on with school? Your mom texted me and said that you got in trouble, but could possibly fail. What? I don't want to talk about that. What's going on with you? The DIY pageant, I like that idea. Oh, I'm worried about Hannah's never picked her own dress out. Like, is she gonna be okay? I'm really nervous about the DIY pageant because Hannah's younger. She's just real sweet and sensitive, so that's why I feel like Hannah needs me. I'm not good at letting go at all. Deb, you know I love you. I know. And I'll be honest. Okay. Hannah is almost 13 years old. Yes. It's time to back up just Appreciate a little bit. You got to cut the cord, oh, Debbie. Yeah. Cut the cord. That's a little, it's time. Step back. Stay back. I'm back. What color dress do you want? White. White? Mm -hmm. And you always are white. You need to do something okay, different. Blue. What can the boys do? Okay. You want that? Not really. That one's okay. Red's too strong for me. Part of the do-it-yourself pageant is you have to pick you out your own dress, but I did win first runner-up a few weeks ago with my long white dress, so I know it's a winner. Contestant number 10, Hannah. <laughs> Miss Kim, I love her, but I'm a competitor and I want to win. You don't like that? That looks like a fairy princess. Mm. That looks like a granny. <sighs> so, this new dress can't happen. Miss Kim, I need help. What's wrong? I can't find anything. My plan is to tell Miss Kim, none of the dresses fit me. I think she will have a change of heart because she knows my beautiful, flowy white dress was built for a winner. Nothing? Nothing? No. But could I please wear the one from home? Your regular white competition dress? Yes. No. I ain't buying that. There are plenty of dresses in here Hannah's size. She's just being difficult because she wants to wear her old wedding dress her mom picked out. But that's not the point of this lesson. Well, Hannah, I cannot make an exception for you. Hannah's got to learn to do things without her mom's input. The pageant is called do-it-yourself pageant, not I choose it for you pageant. Go find something by yourself. We know you can do it, just go do it, baby. You can do it. This is Mason's first pageant, right? Yes. We've never done a pageant before. What made her want to do it? I really want her to do it because I want her to be so self-confident that if I'm not here one day, then I know she'll make good decisions, so. But you'll always be around. Well, I have cancer, so uh, I don't know. Lori, I did not know that you have cancer. Yeah. I am so sorry to hear that. But that's why I want Mason to do pageants, because I want her to, A, establish really strong friendships and have, you know, really good self-confidence inside and out about who she is. And Well, Lori, I'm gonna pray for you, girl. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I don't plan You ain't going anywhere. Right. <laughs> Honey, you are a survivor. So Lori is truly my hero. I mean, to see her to keep going and going um, and cancer is not stopping her, you know, one bit. And I love that. Here we go. Sarah. I want one that's kind of like glitzy. Well, no, like kind of like a mermaid style, sort of. Mermaid style? Asa. She helped me a lot and then I helped her. So it was kind of like, you know, buddy buddy system. Six, four. That's a four? This is a two. I know how Mason feels because she was just like me on my first pageant, and I am going to take her under my wing. <gasps> what? Check out that. That is gorgeous. That is awesome. You need to try this on. Like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> OK, let me see you, Hannah Banna. OK. Do you like it? My little Hannah. <laughs> Look, this short dress ain't gonna win this pageant. I know it. I know Hannah knows it. But she thinks, oh, well, I'll just come out in that dress and Miss Kim will feel bad for me and just give in. But guess what? Miss Kim, don't play that. It's cute. You think I could pull it off? You think you could pull it off? Figure it out.
You can't play somebody who's the consummate player. I mean, she's, she can't, she don't fool me. It's up to you, it's up baby. to you. But we make the decision. Do you like it? Yes. OK, do what you got to do. Go for it, girl. OK. <laughs> uh, Adia, come on out, baby. What's going on with school? Your mom told you? Yeah, she told me. Oh, I don't want to talk about that. What's going on with Pete? See you. Your mom texted me and said that you got in trouble because oh. you're not dressing out. Yes. Like, really? F like, could possibly fail. What? Dressing out is changing your clothes to run laps in PE. Why are you not dressing out in PE? That's the easiest class to pass. All you got to do is dress out and show up, and that's it. I don't want the girls making fun of me because of my size. Listen, I feel bad for the girl. I know exactly what she's going through. I've always been big boned, you know? I myself am a tight 12 and a loose 14. I get it. So who, who are you? Adia. Are you your size? No. Who are you? I'm a Dia that got swag. I'm you're you're swag. a Dia that's got what? Swag. And what? What else? I don't know. Think. Talent? Bam. And that ain't got nothing to do <laughs> with the size of your waist. So why don't you go back to pee and pass? And I suggest right now, go put on these dresses, because I'm hungry and I want to go eat. <laughs> So you wearing this this weekend? The only thing that worries about me is this slit. Mm -hmm. So when you walk, I think we should st we should stitch this up to about here, because I don't want you to get points taken off because it looks too sexy, which I don't agree with that on a young kid. Thank you. <laughs> Love it. There's your dress. How about we say truth or dare? Yes, Miss Kim. What? Is it true that we got lipo section? Oh my God, <laughs> lipo. Adia is busted. Pajama party time! Ah! <laughs> hey, girl! Oh, Adia, you look so cute. Thank you. My whole purpose of doing the PJ party was, one, to get to know the girls better and let them bond and have a friendship. Hey, Lord Mason. have mercy, hey, you just Mason. stay in a night, not a week. I'm also hoping this gives Mason a chance to experience all the girly girl bonding time that she's looking for, but also keep the moms away so that these girls will actually have to do the pageant themselves. Ladies, this is a no text, no phone zone. It's a mom free zone. Bye, mom. See ya. Bye. Bye. I got Allison on mom duty this week. I want her to kind of distract the mom so that mom and I can really dig the girls out and teach them what they need to do for the pageant. And also let the kids have a little fun and let the moms have a little fun. What is what that? That in the no world. Well, hi, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's got the hoopty. That is a party bus. Y'all need to get that look yeah. off your face. That's not the party bus. Are you serious? Is that a church van? Where are we going, Al? What's the big surprise? We about to have some fun. <laughs> so I've got you a chauffeur. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Yeah. That's sweet. I think you look more like a mom. Me so too. So y'all have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> y'all be careful, Phyllis. Well, honey, Brooks knows how to drive. Yeah! We are excited. <laughs> Yay! This is going to be fun. Oh, y'all didn't know he doesn't really have his license yet. What? He's only got his learners. Where is Miss Kim at? There you are. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, lovely lady. Hello. How are y'all doing? What y'all been doing? <sighs> Nothing talking. I know this is DIY, and it's time to do your own facial mask. So everybody pick a color. Thing is, I didn't have a lot of friends growing up. People my own age bore me. And so, like, I was 14, but 30. I looked 30, I talked 30, I walked 30, I thought 30. I always hang out with mom and her friends. All right, everybody take it out. Let's put it on each other and make sure it's thick, eyes. girls. We would have PJ parties. We would just dress up and play and sing, talk about boys, talk about husbands, talk about men. That's how I learned about sex. Was on a PJ party with mom and her girlfriends. So how about we say truth or dare? Oh, okay. Miss Kim. What? Truth or dare? Truth. Is it true that you got lipo section? 
Lipo. Say it again. It's Ella. on Google. What's on Google? They should got lipo section. <laughs> you got lipo I section? I never had lipo suction. <laughs> Idea is busted. Was it really on Google? No. <laughs> I'm such a good actor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna knock you into next week. <laughs> Lies, lies, lies. Does it look like I've ever had lipo to y'all? Me, lipo. <laughs> Not that I wouldn't get it, because I would. So let's cheers to Pageant Place Moms Gone Wild. Yeah. yeah! Love it. I think bowling is a fabulous idea because you have to be active, first of all. OK? You can drink beer, second of all. Don't make me pull out for old Allison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get this ball down the lane. In the gutter. Yeah. Oh, go, uh -huh. Phyllis. Uh -huh. Back it up, Phyllis. Uh -huh. Oh! Uh -huh. Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! I think Allison is awesome. I had more fun with Allison this week with the pedicures and the bowling than I've had, and I couldn't tell you when. Barbie! Barbie, you are wearing bones to the bowling alley? <laughs> Deb in a thong at the bowling alley. Oh, God. <laughs> well, she's bending over left and right constantly. What in the heck is she thinking? Why'd you wear them jeans? <laughs> Barbie. Go figure that Deb, AKA Barbie, would be wearing a red thong up in this bowling alley. Oh, oh God, are you serious? Oh, oh. Barbie! What's wrong with wearing a thong when you're bowling? At least I'm wearing underwear. I'm not commando. Deb, sit down. What's going on there? Okay, so I'm freaked out. Hannah right, said Lord. that Miss Kim is making her wear a doo doo brown cocktail dress Saturday. Y'all, just skip over us. We'll be back. All right. Oh, Phyllis. Oh, Phyllis. <laughs> okay. This is the do it yourself pageant this weekend. Okay. So, if she wins, if she loses, if she makes a complete catastrophe of herself on stage, you let her deal with this herself. OK. You don't come to the rescue. You let her own it all. Right. Do you agree with me? I agree with you. Come on, Deb. It's time. I really hope Deb is listening to me when I tell her to let Hannah be. You know, I hope she's not really just Fakey, fakey Debbie with me. You know what I mean? Are you with me, Debbie? I'm with you. I was Miss Teen Gwinnett, and I've won a couple of pageants in my day. I understand that Allison is trying to help me, but I can't just stand by and watch Hannah fail. Failure's just not an option for Hannah and I. Um, so you coming up, mm -hmm. over with the same little brush? Mm-hmm. Here's mascara. How do you use that? Oh, God. You want to use mascara? No. Oh, no. I'm going to look up high like this, and then just do this. I kind of feel sorry for Mason, because I know what it's like to be the new girl. She acts just like me with my first pageant. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Honestly, when I started out, I didn't even know what eyeshadow was. Conceal under the nose. Why it's so dark, though? Because this is more of a glitz or more of a zhuzhed up look for pageant day. I look like a monster. For real, no joke. Do you, do you get nervous easily? Kinda. I'm just scared because the judges, like, they're judging me. And I'm really, really, like, a perfectionist, so I don't know. No, just... I understand. <laughs> I'm insecure, too, so don't worry. I think this DIY pageant will help Mason, not just the pageants, but her everyday life, because Mason is shy, but I can tell she's smart. So how do you get, like, the judge's attention when you first walk out on stage? Smile. She's like a little butterfly in a cocoon. I mean, and she just needs to spread her wings and fly. And you gotta make big faces for the audience to see you. So one, two. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you don't like kissy lips. The first pageant's always the scariest, but I think Mason will do right. One, two, three, turn, four. And then you can. Oh, look at you go, <laughs> Mason! Okay, that's what the girls are doing. Bless her heart. We'll get her there. 
Where is Hannah? Oh my God, this is such torture. Oh, where the heck, heck is Hannah? Hannah? Paget is beginning and all the girls are getting ready to take the stage. Where the heck is Hannah? We have like one red hot second to find her. talking about boys and get your mind on the pageant. Addison, you came prepared. Straight to the dressing room. The rules of this DIY pageant is the girls can help each other, but no adults are allowed. No moms, no me, no my mom, no Allison. Only the girls. Do you like this color? Yeah. OK. All around here. I don't want to look like a clown, though. You will. I'll fix it if you do. I can't imagine doing my first pageant, my first time you have to do everything by yourself. Since Ms. Kim and Joe can't help anybody, I had to help Mason. Let me see you, Mason. Oh, God. I know. I like I wasn't that good in my first pageant. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. Hi. Hi. Woo, woo. Are y'all having fun today? Not as much fun as we did with you last yes, night. And honey, we had a good time, didn't we? <laughs> After a long night out with the moms, having several drinks, I'm tired. Listen, y'all, I love these moms, but I'm just telling you, if you hang out with them ladies for a week, you will be drinking heavily by the end of the week, too. All right, so how do y'all feel about today? I'm scared about the whole thing. <laughs> you? This is her first pageant. It scares me to death. No. I'm absolutely worried about Mason. Mason has never done hair or makeup. How about you, fellas? She looks tired uh, today. Can I say that? What's going on? She's nervous. I'm worried about Adia because first pageant, she didn't win anything at all. She was very upset, and I was upset for her because I know how much work she put into it. Listen, I know y'all are used to being backstage and doing all this for them. Today, win or lose, whatever. Have a good time. I love y'all. Love you. Yeah. We got to go out again soon. It looks good. Just kind of bring it up more, your eyelash. That looks really good. That looks the DIY pageant, the do-it-yourself pageant, is a great opportunity for these girls to rise. I mean, I haven't even done my eyelashes. I wouldn't. It's a DIY pageant, so if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. I want them to have their own opinions. I want them to choose things they like. I love this. This is making me so happy. Why am I feeling so happy that y'all are doing it yourself? DIY is my kind of pageant. And I'll tell you this, that color's gonna look great with that champagne color dress, isn't it, Mom? Oh, yes. Wow. I'm not putting on that dress. You're wearing a dress. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. She's going to wear the dress. Did y'all hear me? She's going to wear the dress. She picked it. She's wearing it. It's the rules. What part of you're going to wear the dress that I run the show and you don't? Don't you understand? You're wearing the dress. Miss Kim's saying that, Hannah, you have to wear this dress, but Miss Kim is crazy. That brown dress was not built for a winner. I'm just going to smile and keep it to myself, but I have my own plan at the end of the day. What's all this? I am not comfortable right now because the dress is tight and I keep having to pull it up. Let's just make sure this stays up. Dia, the cut is great for you. The color is fabulous. Girl, you look good. I do put on a brave face, but I'm thinking in my head. I am uncomfortable with my body and I'm really nervous. Mason, come on, let's see you. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, Mason, it is so perfect. Do a spin. Your skin looks great with that color. Mason's really blossomed. Now I see the pretty little princess in this puffed up cupcake ball gown. She looks gorgeous. How does it make you feel? It makes me feel like a princess, but. Well, you look it, baby. You look it. Mason came to learn how to do things for herself, to step out of the box. When little Miss Mason comes out in that Tiffany blue dress, I said, whoo, there is a beauty queen in the making there, and she's loving it. Oh, proud of that kid. OK, Hannah, come on. Let's see what you got. <gasps> wow, it looks great. That's not that bad. No. I love it. Wait, champagne, look, it right, looks like my color. We got the same color on there. We're twins. I like it. She looks good. Yes, ma'am. All right, put your shoes on. Put some more lip gloss on and your earrings. All right, everybody, I want you to line straight up across. Well, I'm just going to say one little thing. You guys did amazing. I am very shocked that they look so great. That goes to show they can really do it if they are allowed to by their mothers. 
And the reason I wanted to do the DIY pageant is because your moms, me, my mom, Allison, are not always gonna be with you guys when you make decisions. And you, you make decisions and then you have to deal with the repercussions because nobody's gonna come save you, okay? I have to go pee really bad. Hannah, now you've gotta go pee? Yes, yeah, really bad. Miss Kim can say that I'm gonna wear this dress, but this dress is awful. I mean, at the end of the day, it's called a beauty pageant. Beauty pageant, Miss Kim. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm not wearing that dress. Remember, stand up straight and slow, slow, slow. Remember, we're not going fast. This ain't no race. Where is Hannah? She, what number is she? Oh my God, this is such torture. The Where the heck is Hannah? The pageant is beginning and all the girls are getting ready to take the stage. Where the heck is Hannah? Here they go, they're calling them. Let's welcome our first contestant, ages 12 to 16. Where's Hannah? Where's Hannah? Where's Hannah? For today's competition, contestants had to do their own makeup and hair backstage. No help from their moms or coaches. Are we ready? Go, go, go. Please welcome contestant number 20, Addison. Relax your shoulders, your boobs are not coming out. Remember the judges are looking up. Contestant number 13, Adia. Do that swag, baby. Oh, my God. When I seen my little angel come out, she looked so beautiful. And it was like all this confidence just kicked in. I'm like, who is this kid? I was so proud of her. Please welcome contestant number 15, go, 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 Mason. Go, 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 go. Slow down, slow down, slow down. When Mason came out on that stage in that dress and her hair, I was trying to keep it together, but I definitely felt the tears welling up. She looked absolutely beautiful. Up next, we have contestant number 16, Miss Hannah. Where is she? Where is Hannah? Hannah? Shoot. My mom is so nervous about putting this dress on me because she does not want to be on Miss Kim's fat side. But I think when Miss Kim sees me on stage in my beautiful, flowy white dress, I feel confident Miss Kim will realize what's oh, a winner. So I think I'm in good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Kim. 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 <gasps> I want to take this opportunity, and I do apologize to everybody. She was supposed to pick a dress that she chose at the dress shop, and she went behind my back, so she is disqualified. She will no longer be participating in this pageant, OK? Oh, hell no. She did not just pull my child off stage. I do apologize to everybody. She is disqualified. She will no longer be participating in this pageant. OK? Hannah, come on with me. I am so mad that Hannah went behind my back and put that I'm gown right on and strutted her stuff on stage. Hannah knew the rules of this pageant. She chose the dress herself, and that's the dress she was supposed to wear in this DIY pageant. Period. I love you, but I've got to push you to another place. Okay. You're used to winning. I'm not a, I want you to be Miss America. I want you to be Miss America. Well, you're not competing in this pageant, young lady. Okay. Come on. I ain't going with my mom. No, you ain't going with your mama. You stay with me. I'm your mama right now. <laughs> I'm not making the rules hard on Hannah. I'm making her follow the rules. First of all, it's not fair to the other girls. Second of all, this kid needs to learn how to fail. She's got to learn to make her own choices and deal with the consequences. I tell y'all guys to do something it's for a reason. It's because I love each and every one of you, and I would not be here, and I would not be doing this to help you kids if I didn't give a rip. I'm being hard on Hannah because I love her and I believe in her. I'm telling you, this kid is gold and a Miss America in the making for sure, but not unless she can see. It's not about winning. It's about being able to make a decision and stand even when it's hard. Now, the four of you are still competing, and I want you to get out there and show those judges that you are four of the most talented, amazing, brilliant young women on the planet, because you are. Get to get. I love you, kid. You know that, right? You're going to be fine. I am so mad, but I still have four of the girls in the pageant. I mean, the show must go on. Who's ready? Let's go. Move it, move it, move it. Stay with me, Hannah. Contestant number 13, Adia. Woo! 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 
I'm a deer and I like to sleep. I'm the number one diva and I'm here to stay. I'm always on until the hundred fits power. Where'd you get? Where did you get that diva girl swag? Yeah. I'm so proud of the deer. I mean, she has improved so much from her last pageant. You can just tell the nerves are gone. She's more confident. She's really knocking it out of the park. I'm kind of nervous for talent. I'm worried about like freezing up or falling. The possibilities are endless. You have contestant number 15, Mason. I do something called computer robotics. And this is my robot. That just goes to show you that women aren't only smart, we're beautiful. My goal is to move to Japan and create humanoids with some of the best engineers. Come on, George. I'm very impressed with Mason's talent because I can barely draw a stick figure and much less build a robot. Woo! Woo! Bullseye, number one. Next, we have contestant number 20, Addison. Watching the other girls could be right now is killing me. Like, I can't take it. Y'all look beautiful. And the winner for the prettiest hair goes to... Contestant number 20, Addison. Second runner-up goes to... I am so anxious. I'm just hoping and praying that she just gets something. Goes to contestant number 13, Adia. Come on, oh, Sister Sledge. Come on, girl. I'm gonna rock that edge. I'm ecstatic to see the growth. She's a different kid. I hope Adia continues to feel this great about herself and that she understands that no matter what weight she is, that she loves herself no matter what. After doing so good in this pageant, I got my Diva Girl Swagger back. And the first runner-up goes to... And the first runner-up goes to... Contestant number 20, Addison. Okay! Let's take that! Woo! She took home the talent award, she took home prettiest hair, which she done herself, and she did first runner-up. I will let little Miss Thane do her hair and makeup from here on out if she wants to. Put my feet up and watch her work. And the winner goes to... Contestant number 11, Cindria. Okay! Thank everybody for coming out, and congratulations to all the young ladies. I'm doing my hair from now on. I got first runner-up, best hair. I did it myself. My mom need to step off the plate. I'm gonna do my hair and makeup from now on. I said a ooh, ooh. Good job, girls. Dude, it's My girls killed it. I mean, we practically swept the whole thing, and I couldn't be prouder of them. I cannot believe it. Are you flipping out? You walked the dog. Oh my gosh, y'all. Let me tell you out. something. This is from a girl who was afraid to go into the dress shop because you thought you were too big for the dresses. Right? Good job, Adia. Adia's failing Jim, bottom line, because she's concerned about the way she looks. I hope winning tonight is showing her that it's not about what's on the outside. It's about what you exude from the inside. I'm proud of you, Addie. Thank you. Wow, oh. sweep it up. Oh. And we're the people that didn't get anything the last time. Right, so, so you <laughs> never know. And for the new girls, I'm telling you, it's yeah, coming. it's coming along. I think more than any other pageant, this DIY pageant has really taught the girls a life lesson that if you want anything, you gotta do it yourself. My daddy used to always say, if you don't do it yourself, you ain't got nobody to blame but yourself. Keep working, Cause keep y'all are awesome. And y'all, you did this and you did your own hair and makeup. Mason, you gained all of these 
friends, everybody. Job well done. Mason went from this shy, awkward kid, and she has just blossomed into this beautiful young woman who is having a ball with her new friends. Everybody give her a group hug. Everybody group hug. hug. Mission accomplished. All right, Hannah, you got all your stuff? Hi, babe. You want to go to the car with Daddy? I need to talk to Miss Kim. There are two sides to me. There's Deb and Deborah. And you don't want to meet Deborah because she's a bitch. Kim, that was a little harsh, disqualifying her from the pageant. Well, she swing by me in that white dress like a cocked rooster. Oh. Don't owe oh, me. But I mean, she Quit is. Quit being fake. You're well, being I'm trying funny. to be real. I'm trying to tell you. You've made Hannah look like an idiot. I'm totally conflicted. I don't know what she's trying to do to Hannah or me. Every time something happened to Hannah, she immediately wants to run to you. Because Why? she feels safe. She had a total flipping breakdown over a dress. Because that's her competitive spirit. She wants to win. She wants to be the best at everything she, she can't does. Be. She ain't strong enough, baby. She ain't strong enough to get out there in the real world and tackle the problems. She ain't strong enough to, to, to be Miss Georgia. She ain't strong enough yet. This week's lesson was learning how to do things yourself. And Deb got in the way of Hannah doing that. I hope Hannah has learned that she's capable of making her own decisions. And she should stick with them. Oh my god, I cannot believe you just did that. She will be a better competitor, a better girl, a better person because of this today. Watch and see what I tell you. I, I did know, it for I know, Hannah. but it's hard, Kim. Tough it's love's hard. hard. Well, you should know. That's all you gave us was tough love. You're Let a me tough tell you something. mother. <laughs> I'm a tough mother. You could drop us off at the Amazon. You could put us at a street this fight. You could put us at the White House and we can hang. And why? It's because you let us fall and get back up and fall and get back up. And I swear to you, I think sometimes you pushed us so that we would fall or tripped us. That's some tough coaching right there. <laughs>